All right, uh, everybody. It's um, you know it's with a good pleasure that uh, I get to introduce Kyle Fuller to you all and turn him over to you here for this press conference. As you guys all know, we were together for four years in Chicago, and Kyle kept improving during that time we were there. And ultimately, our, the last year we were together there, he had a Pro Bowl season where he was up there in interceptions, leading the league or close to it. Um, had a bunch of PBUs that year, too. I think the combination of both led the league in 2018. You know, he's a guy that will tackle and will hit from the corner position. And um, we're going to do everything we can to get Kyle back to that 200, uh, 2018 form. And I know he's excited to be here. He's a really good person. Um, he's a good teammate, which is good to have, always to add to your building. And we're excited to have him. Um, and with that, am I gonna, Kyle's going to come up here now and answer some questions. Okay, Ryan, why don't you lead us off? Hey, Kyle. Uh, welcome to Denver. Um, when, you when you got released the other day, how easy of a decision was it to rejoin Vic here? Uh, I mean, it was kind of a crazy process, but, you know, it all worked out. And, uh, and I'm happy, you know, to get started on a, you know, a new chapter. As a quick follow-up to that, why were you such a good fit for Vic's game in Chicago? Uh, just having experience in it. Um, you know, I felt comfortable when he was in Chicago. And, uh, you know, I think that says a lot. Next one, now, George Stoya. Hey, Kyle. Um, George Stoya with the Gazette. I mean, you just talked about Vic, and that was probably a big reason why you ended up here. But what do you know about some of these other guys? Uh, they've made some moves this offseason with obviously bringing back Justin Simmons, signing Ronald Darby, Bryce Callahan. What do you know about this secondary and just how good do you think you guys can be? Yeah, you know, like I played with Bryce in Chicago. Um, Ronald Darby played with my brother. You know, I've seen a lot of these guys across the league. Justin Simmons, you know, I like the way he plays. So, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll, get to, I'll get to know some of them more, but, uh, you know, I, I like the way they play. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with them. Next one, Eric DeLauro. Yeah, hey, Kyle. Uh, welcome to Denver. Vic just mentioned he wanted to get you back to that 2018 form. How close did you feel last year to, to being where you were in 2018? And I guess how much do you think you have left going forward? Yeah, every year is different. Um, you know, I'm always trying to go out there and be my best. You know, so, you know, I'm definitely, that's one of my, you know, I guess something that I can shoot for, you know, just, but it's really just to go out there and be my best. Next one, Kyle Newman. Hey, Kyle, what is it about your relationship with Vic that enables you guys to mesh and, and what do you like about his coaching style, et cetera, that drew you back, drew you back to him? Uh, I don't know, maybe just our personalities. We just seem to get along, you know, well, you know, pretty naturally. Um, you know, I like the way he, you know, goes about, you know, I guess coaching, you know, and just in the game of football, uh, you know, I like that a lot. Next one, Tori. Kyle, good to see you, man. When you guys, that 18 year when you were an all pro, the Bears had 36 takeaways. These first two years with Vic, they've only had 33. What is the key, having been on that defense when it's at its optimal level? To, how do you get take, how do you get more takeaways? What is your role in that? Uh, just all 11 guys, you know, being on the same page and, uh, you know, definitely making that a focus. You know, I definitely feel like we did that. Um, you know, Vic does a good job with that, you know, with the guys. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's still doing that now. And did you get to know him over a round of golf, I read? Did that help your relationship with Vic? Because we don't uh, see that side of Vic. He, he has yeah, a win. Yeah. He's got a dry sense of humor. But, what is, you know, does he more personal to players than we, than we kind of realize? Yeah, I would say so. Um, we definitely have a similar interest in golf. And, uh, you know, you just have to, you know, open up a little, open up, open him up a little bit. Next one, uh, Brandon. Kyle, I got two for you. The, the first, why Denver and how many other teams were you looking at, but ultimately why the Broncos? Uh, you know, I think really just, you know, I was familiar with, you know, Vic. And, uh, you know, that, that, that definitely drew me to Denver. And, uh, you know, just, you know, I was excited to have a chance to, you know, work with him again. And you mentioned your brother played with Ronald Darby. Your brother also played with Patrick Mahomes. Justin Herbert's in this division. Right now, Derek Carr. So uh, are you excited about the challenge to go against uh, some of these gunslingers? Yes, sir. Next one, Zach Stevens. Hey, Kyle. Welcome to Denver. Uh, can you explain why a one-year deal was the best fit for you? And what's it going to be like going from an organization where you spent your whole career now to a whole new organization? 
Uh, you know, I think it'll be some adjustments, but uh, you know, something I'm looking forward to. Like I said, it's just a new chapter, and uh, you know, I'm ready to you know just start working and uh, you know move forward. And why was the one year deal the the best path for you this year? Um, you know, I think I'm just you know looking forward to you know continuing my career and uh, you know where it goes next. You know, I think you know this year will you know you know tell a lot. We'll go to Nick Kosmeyer before opening up to the entire group. Go ahead, Nick. Kyle, thanks for your time. What would you say is the key? You, you've been such a durable player in your career. What, what do you think has just been the key in terms of um, you, you being available every week? Uh, just trying to be a professional, taking care of my body. Um, you know, being a smart player. Uh, I think I think the biggest thing is just being a professional, taking care of your body. Next one, we got Brad Biggs from the Chicago Tribune. Hey, Kyle, congratulations on uh, reuniting with Vic. I'm curious, given what you meant to the Bears defense, were you surprised that they made this move? And did you consider playing for them uh, with a pay reduction this year? I think I understood, I guess, what was everything that was going on. So, you know, I just took it. I took it, I just took it for what it was. Did, did you consider taking less money to stay there? I think in the situation with what's going around around the league, you know, I had to do that you know, with every team, you know, so that was something that I, you know, just prepared myself for. Next one, uh, Patrick Finley, Chicago sometimes. Hey Kyle, good to see you again. Um, when you said that you took it for what it was, what was that like emotionally? I mean, it, you'd be only human to, to, to probably go through some, some tough thoughts after being in the same place for so many years. Uh, really, yeah, just understanding what's going on, you know, in, in, around the league and, you know, the business side of it and, you know, so that, that was really it. Given the uh, media deal that was just signed, <laughs> uh, to watch the salary cap go down this year, it, do you think that was fair to veteran players? I don't really – I don't know too much about it. I don't really get into that. You guys, time for a few more. Next one, Brandon. Well, uh, obviously you practice against Allen Robinson, some other good pass catchers there. In, in Chicago, what do you know about Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Noah Fant, and these guys you're going to get to work with? You know, hopefully some in the spring and certainly in yeah. training. Yeah, yeah, I know there. I know there's some good. There's some good weapons, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to you know going out there and compete, competing against them uh, every day. We'll go uh, final one, uh, Troy Rain. Yeah, in that in that vein, when you look at that secondary with Justin Simmons and Darby and Callahan, how much can it help that? you and Bryce played this defense together in terms of accelerating the development. And then sometimes it takes a while when a guy joins a new team. Does yeah. it, can you accelerate it because of your knowledge and how can that happen? Yeah, I felt like that would help a lot. You know, me being familiar with the, uh, you know, with the defense, you know, I feel like I would be stepping in and, you know, not really, you know, having to learn new things. So that would just keep us moving. And, uh, you know, they're, they're great guys, great players. And uh, so, you know, I think, I think we'll do well.